Hello everyone and welcome to this Ace tutorial video where I'll be showing you how to install Ace Rama 3. This might be a basic step for most people but some people might have some issues or are very new to the modding stuff so this will show you how to. I'll be showing you two ways to install it. One of them is a very easy way using the Play with 6 program and the other way is the manual installation method using the Armaholic files as well as the Arma 3 launcher. So let's get going. So with Play with 6, it's actually quite easy. All you have to do is download it. Go to with6.com, press the green button, install the program, and then run it. Once it's launched, you'll see a screen similar to mine, or you have to click on this mod section here. And then just make a collection. I've already done so. But it's actually quite simple. I'll show you again how to do this. Make a new collection by clicking on the plus sign over here. Name it whatever you want. And then on the top bar over here, type in Ace 3. That's all you need to do. And then you'll find this and just press this green button add to active collection. And this will add it to your collection. If you click on your collection right now, you'll see that there's just Ace. Now CBA is actually added as a dependency. On the card view, you can actually see this dependency. On the paperclip here, or whatever it is, you'll actually see it requires CBA A3. And as a collection, it will automatically add it. All you have to do now is press launch. The next method is installing manually by using uh, the Armaholic files as well as Arma 3 Launcher. So to find Ace on Armaholic, it's actually quite easy. Just go to Google, type in Armaholic, and type in Ace 3. You'll find the page here. Scroll down. Download this file. I've already downloaded it, so I won't be doing that. And make sure you download all of the requirements as well. Right now, this is just CBA 3. Make sure you download it and make sure it's up to date because a lot of people who are having issues with the interaction menu because they had outdated CBA. Once you've downloaded Ace 3, just open it with WinRAR and find an installation folder. Now you could use you could install the mods into the same directory where you have your uh, game installed, or perhaps you want to use the directory that Play with Six generally uses, which is My Documents slash Arma 3. I'm going to be using this one because. Not just A's needs to be extracted, you also need CBA. Extracting CBA as well, and now that they're both in the same folder, now launch the Arma 3 launcher, and then there's two ways to launch the game with the mods on. You can go to the parameters tab and add the mods using a command line, or perhaps you want to use the mod section. See, I've already added a few of these. I'll show you how to add them. First, let me get rid of them on the list. So. All you have to do is go on this tab right here where it says open a dialog where you can add local user mods. Adding local user mods, navigate to the folder you've installed your ace mods to, select the folder, and it will add it right here. Select the other folder, CBA, and it will add it as well. It used to be an Arma 3 folder, I'm not sure if that's gone or whether it's supposed to be like this, but just press play. That's how you do this. So now that I'm launching the game, you'll see on the main menu that I'm running the mods. Now that I'm on the main menu, there's a couple of ways of figuring out whether or not you have the Ace 3 mod launched. First and most obvious way is to find it right here on the bottom. It says Ace 3 and CBA, meaning that you launched it. Another way is going to configure expansions, and you'll see that you're launching the Advanced Combat Environment mod as well as CBA. So that's it. That's all you need. If this tutorial helped you, please leave a like. If you have any questions at all, please. Put them in the comments, I'll answer them. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.